Hello guys, welcome to another video from me. Let me just get my stuff together, what I want to explain you. So, uh, the, the first couple of minutes is, a uh, is some wisdom I want to share or, or love or, uh, yeah, I think I would say wisdom and love to share and this is something very, very, uh, uh, yeah, I would say this is pure wisdom. If I want to read first a quote from a, from a, a physicist scientist. His name is, is Johannes Kepler, and I mentioned his name in uh, previous videos of mine. I mentioned his name and his theory, his quotes. And also on, on, on Facebook, I, I wrote it, some interesting stuff, what he was saying. And let me just read a quote, what he wrote. He says, nature uses as little as possible of anything. And I added to it, so does a human. What you have to understand is, that when you, I don't know how to explain it in a perfect way, but I'm trying to, there is a, a wisdom understanding which cannot, which cannot be uh, taught or teached or uh, or a method or by practicing or rituals whatever because it's all nonsense because they make all just money without of it with it so and you all you guys also know that I mentioned very much uh, uh, Jesus Christ and I don't see him as a in a religiously way how we present nowadays religion because we have lost touch to the original religion for me, Jesus is the cornerstone, is the central of everything, and you can only go through him. And when people listen to this now, what I'm just saying, they think instantly in a religiously way, oh yes, and the cross and prayer and all that in church. It's not that. Jesus is a uh, is a phenomenon what i mean by that is that he is everything and he is the cornerstone and he is the way but you have to understand that in a in a wisdom way Otherwise, I cannot explain it a better word than wisdom. Or you can maybe say uh, for the religious people that I understand it better in a, in, a, in a Holy Spirit way. That Jesus is the cornerstone and He is everything. He is physics. He is the result of everything. So... That is why it is important, and I'm saying this because in all my calculations, uh, observations, calculation, observations, uh, mathematical, uh, science, uh, uh, physics, what I've been through, and I've seen all the history, like significant uh, pioneers, uh, physicists and uh, astronomers, cosmologists, mathematicians like uh, Isaac Newton, Johannes Kepler, Galileo, uh, 
Copernicus, Toche, that everything is actually going back to, to Jesus. And that's why his, his confirmations of his sayings, you find it in those physical, physics, natural mathematics laws. You find those confirmations through Johannes Kepler, Isaac Newton, Einstein. They confirmed what Jesus says. And, okay, that's a little bit, uh, 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 I don't want to go uh, too deep, too far into it. But you have to, you have to understand that there is a spirit that exists. And I would say it is a Holy Spirit. It is a very significant spirit that leads you in the right direction when you are a child when you are alone and you put all your trust and all your whole attention into it it brings everything to you it it leads you and that's why I like also when when uh, when Jesus cuz i see G Jesus is a is a is a is a is a, is a Is a man like, like what, all one of us, but he was a significance. He was the phenomenal of all mankind because he understood everything in an instant because it was given to him, and he has given it to to his friends, to his uh, people, and they, their friends have gave it, uh, uh, shared with other people, their closest friends, and it's all like a, a moving spirit that goes on. And it seems like that this spirit is lost somehow in, the, in our history. I don't know if it was on purpose or not, but I see that spirit in Isaac Newton, Johannes Kepler, in Einstein, that it occurs in them, because when I observe and discover what they found out about gravity and uh, uh, energy mass and uh, speed of light and uh, uh, you know all that physics all that science mathematics mathematics stuff is that because I seen the spirit in them I was capable to translate their theories into the psychological field, into the into us human beings, because, look, uh, let me say it another way. When we hear scientists, physicists, mathematicians, we think instantly in technology, instantly in in airplanes, rocket launch, uh, computers, and all that, because we've conditioned to it. But you have to see, what you have to do is, you have to translate their theories, their discoveries, what they made, their profound significance, uh, discoveries, or uh, uh, observation. Don't put that result into technology field. Don't put that result into uh, uh, what they made, their discovery, into... Uh, into uh, airplanes, jet, or rockets, or technologies, or you have to put all that, you have to be capable to translate all that in us, in a human being, not in a rocket launch, uh, in, in, in a rocket, not in a, in a tank, not in a pistol, not into a uh, technology computer. You have to transform these theories, these results in the psychological field, in us human beings, and it unlocks instantly but that's that's a barrier i think you can only un, you can only see those things and translate it into human into the in the psychological human human being if you have this this kind of a spirit to see 
these things and translate it in the psychological field. Um, let me make a quick example. I don't know if you see it from the camera what I mean by that. For instance, I hope you guys see it. It was not planned I'm going to draw on it, but uh, just what I mean by you have to learn what scientists, I'm going to repeat it, what scientists, physicists, mathematicians, what they are calculating, what they are discovering, what they are exploring, their result, the sum of it. We are instantly want to use that kind of result, the sum, into technologies. And look what technology can do with it. Or we want to see how it works on an airplane or in a rocket or machines. But I'm not interested with those theories in machines, in technology, into and that's what I and that's why I saw the spirit in Nikola Tesla, because he was saying similar a similar thing. Don't jump with those theories and those sums. What they discover, the scientists, cosmologists, astronomers, physicists, mathematicians, don't jump that they discovered with these theories something in a technology thing, in a in a machine or or pile uh, or in a in a rocket or in a in a plane. What you have to do is to understand this. In the interest in the human being field, in a psychological field, in a nature in, in, in a nature field. So, for instance, let me let me make you an example. Now, we see there is a, a physicist, a doctor physicist. He is the topic is acceleration, warp curve in space. So when we see the name, he's a doctor physicist, and we see his drawing, we think automatically, okay. Somewhere in the space, somewhere, uh, 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 somewhere uh, has something to do with NASA and rocket and launch. So you see him drawing this. I hope you see it from from the back. So he's drawing this, and then he says uh, to calculate a curved space in the space. You need those space time diagram which is time and which is space so so and and uh, this is the ball or the rocket that shoots out with acceleration in this direction and each point of it you can calculate it the distance between, it's, we want to know in where it is, the distance at that point. So we go up the timeline and go like this. And he, the, then you know the distance. So time, time space gives the distance and you know exactly where it is. So that's what he was drawing. Let's make it a little bit longer. And then if you want to make a next dot, you can calculate like, like this, and so forth. So now this is the spirit, what I want to say. If you don't have that spirit, you see it as a, uh, okay, it's a, it's a, it's a typical uh, time-space diagram, how to calculate a, a, a location, a spot in space uh, through time in space, you can find out the distance where... The object, the matter, the mass is by acceleration in here. So now look. I have this kind of a spirit, what I'm showing you right now, what it allows me. I saw this. And in an instant when he st was starting drawing this, in an instant. I, I was saying. What he's drawing is a leaf. What he's drawing is a leaf. Right?
Do you see that? His drawing and the leaf I saw in it, and that's what I'm that's what I'm trying to say. This is this this the spirit, this Holy Spirit, or the significance of observation. And I test it out on many people's uh, co-workers, etc. When I drew this, I asked them, they didn't know that it was a leaf, only when I said it to them, then they were like shocked, like, whoa, damn, how did you find that out? I said, and I said, I just by looking at it. So I drew this, and it took, people didn't know, he says, 